Oh, great. We're unmuted. <clears throat> <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Uh, welcome aboard Mur Hobo Inc., uh, the Margu campaign. Uh, we're down a few people. We're expecting them shortly, but we didn't want to hold you back from watching the end of the Steelers debacle. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of background information. And uh, hopefully the other two will be joining us shortly. If not, uh, the dragon will eat these three and everybody will be pissed off. So uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, I don't know, it's somewhere down there. Uh, if you want to join us in Discord, uh, also, likewise, it's somewhere down there. Uh, and most importantly, if you want a seat on either the talk show or a one shot, uh, go ahead and hit us up at M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail and. Uh, get a hold of us there and it looks like the Steelers just go went ahead and sacked the quarterback so this game's in the fucking books so welcome aboard uh thank you pirate Dog <laughs> dice for giving us dice that uh, roll high and remember if your game stinks uh make it smell a whole lot better with adventure sense from oddfishgames.com oddfishgames.com uh they make cool plushies and stuff but for me it's the adventure sense folks uh, as you can tell from the players here this is the nizumi ruins crew we will start off with our senior member of our group frank one of three today frank who are you who are you playing i'm frank senior and i'm playing leaf the wayward druid and he is a man of uh Few words. Many words. That, that's the important <laughs> thing. Uh, next up is AJ. AJ, tell us a little bit about yourself and who you're playing. Hello, I'm AJ, and I'm playing Felix the Rogue, the drunken gambler, the only sane person left in the party. <laughs> in your opinion, <laughs> yes, that is true. Yes, yes. I And the last one who is uh, also not a werewolf. That you know of. That I know of. I have not been bitten yet. That's all I remember. That is true. Well, unless I have not been bitten by a were animal. I go say not according to that. For Zelda, she was a little bit of a biter. Picky <laughs> don't count. Uh, next up is uh, Alex or Alex. Alex just went, folks. Uh, and the Steelers break into the open. See, I can do two things at once. Uh, <laughs> Copius, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, Copious Volbitters the Third, Gnomish Witch, and Brewmeister Extraordinaire, uh, and a, a bit of a fashion Nista at the moment. And Jason sounded a little bit hoarse, must have been from all the partying last night at Haggis's birthday. Is Haggis going to join us today? He is not. He's recovering <laughs> from Haggis's uh, birthday. Uh, and what year was it? 16. Oh, 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 oh. so you got him the car, right? Yeah, uh, didn't the, know. The GT? Uh, cherry red <laughs> no. last but certainly not least the third frank youngest frank uh youngest frank who are you who are you playing i am man fang and i am the i am a dragonborn fighter the king of all with my big old crown on top of my head and a beauty mark that the rest of us refer to as a scar. Uh, <laughs> folks, as we alluded to earlier, these guys are in the jungle. They are in the Nazumi ruins with their fearless uh, team leader, Phineas Latrec, and his friend Pierre Glambon. Uh, those two are holding down the fort as you guys uh, found out last week uh, there's a dragon out there somewhere. Fortunately, it saved your bacon, so to speak, from the flaming basilisk of doom, uh, which was a huge help. Uh, these guys also wandered into the temple of the serpent and uh, well, bravery was a little bit on short supply there as uh, well, watch the show in the archives, folks. There, there was a small issue with uh, half the party uh, taking yeah, chicken shit party. <laughs> but the good news is everybody survived for today. Uh, when last we left them, they were headed towards their base of operations in Old Inn, where Phineas and Pierre were draining the last of the casks. Unfortunately, uh, as you guys barge in through the door, uh, they ask if you brought dinner. <laughs> and you can tell they're a little on the tipsy side. Go talk to the dragon. You can get some dinner. I, I, I 
I am aware mm, that there is a uh, worm of uh, unusual size out there, and I prefer not to go ahead and get that ourselves. I believe part of the agreement that Phineas was telling me about was uh, room and board was included. Uh, well, that was that was for him, I'm pretty sure. But Phineas pipes up and asks where his dinner is. <laughs> Robert of Zeppelin has it. Rally, Robert has it. Phineas goes quiet. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, I'm thinking of the wrong one. I was thinking of Weave. Uh, Phineas loves Robert of Zeppelin. Uh, so uh, they give you the bad news that supplies are uh, running a little low, and uh, we, we got enough food for tonight. But uh, tomorrow we're going we're gonna to gonna have to go hunting. Phineas pipes up that uh, I wonder if there's any blue Java bananas in this location. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to ask him if they've ever seen the play Lifeboat. They have not. Okay, good. <laughs> there, what was the uh, movie with uh, Superman? Uh, Man of Steel? No, it was, uh, it was a murder mystery. Death Trap? That's it. <laughs> they have seen Death Trap. <laughs> they are well aware of the uh, hesitations that this party has been able to provide upon them. Uh, folks, if you're just joining us from the Steeler game, thanks for joining us. Uh, <laughs> so uh, there you have it, folks. You have enough food for tonight. Uh, tomorrow, it looks like uh, you guys are going to be doing a little uh, hunting. Little uh, little food gathering. Well, since all my rations are in my bag, I doubt that I'm out. Ah, uh, kind of bad news. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know when you drink too much and you you just you just gotta have something. Uh, the good news is I replaced it with some gold. <laughs> the bad news is uh, you don't have nearly as many rations as you thought you did. There's Kentucky Fried Basilisk uh, around the corner. I believe somebody's already eating that. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll be frying up some Gila Monster, won't we? There you go. You can always There's do that. Gnomes. Uh, they, we're tough and ruddy. Uh, a lot of sinewy. You probably don't want that. I would add some faux noodles. It'll be just fine. So, uh, good news is uh, they are not so drunk that they cannot prepare a fabulous feast for you. Uh, so, this evening's meal is going to be a hearty one. Uh, also, maybe your last completely good one uh, for a while, unless you forage correctly. Uh, after, uh, well, while you eat the meal, everybody go ahead and give me a con check to see if uh, you like it or not. Mm -hmm. uh, well, 20. Yo, 11. Seven. It's... Oh. <laughs> Man Fang does not like it. Everybody else either enjoys it or considers it at least palatable, uh, which is good. It's not going to give you the same blue Java effect, we don't believe. Uh, with that in mind, I will allow uh, Haggis and or Robert to take a watch, if you'd like. Yes. Are we doing three watches or four? There it is. Who wants to uh, take? Okay. Which watch do you want? First. First watch. Uh, go ahead and give me a D8. Please. Three. The rumble of thunder can be heard in the distance. That's not coming from a gnome, is it? <laughs> no, it is coming from outside along with intermittent uh, faint flashes of light. Looks like a thunderstorm is headed your way. Uh, right. Everybody give me a D20 straight up, please. 19. 15. Manfang? What? I couldn't hear anything. What did you guys say? Straight up D20. All right. 14. Uh, Leaf, Man, Fang, and Felix, you sleep solidly through the night. I mean, it is some great sleep and weather. Copious odd even. 
even uh, sometime in third watch while Haggis is keeping an eye on things, the storm intensifies with loud claps of thunder, uh, electrical charged uh, bolts shoot from the sky, and the wind picks up. It is a howling mess out there, uh, and you find it very difficult to sleep. The next morning after third watch ends, Copius is a little bit wide-eyed, and uh, you three wake up uh, fully refreshed. Uh, but there is a monsoon outside the windows uh and it appears as though uh the hunt is going to be a little bit damp did anybody bring an umbrella uh no one has found the magic umbrella of mary poppins yet great man I'm now he mentioned that we, we, we might want to keep our eyes open for it. i got a turtle shot i could just, I could just kind of sink in there you could Ooh. you could just hold it up you know yeah, drop it a little bit down and then raise it up and take a look yeah. around I got him. What about you? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's go hit the temple. All right. You're the one that's doing what? Are we going to forage for food or are we going to hit the temple? Or both. You think you're going to find anything to shoot out there today? We I, could bet, I bet something finds. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got a better idea. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's go for the temple. There might uh, be one less mouth to feed afterward. Uh, uh, if you'd like, I'll let you send Robert and Haggis out to forage did you know that the human body can survive without food for two i'm gonna days? i'm gonna cast goodberry but in the and, half and pass a couple of those out to each person that's enough nourishment to sustain a creature for a day sustain <laughs> Sustain. Sustain Lovely. is the key word. You know what? If you eat enough broccoli, that will sustain you. Yep. <laughs> eat enough yogurt. <laughs> I was going to say, eating enough broccoli, it'll sustain you, but it'll kill everyone in a yeah. three mile radius yeah. around yeah. you. It will. Right. But then so, I'll get us going until we find something to shoot. So how about how about this? We we let Robert or Haggis, one or the other, take one of the gnomes to forage while we venture to the temple. That way, we never leave that's two gnomes idea. alone in the bar by themselves. I think that's a real good idea. Very great. We trust a gnome. Uh, yeah, on Phineas, even Pierre. Phineas draws the short straw. All right, and do the hey, same Robert thing for Robert or Haggis. No, he has to go Not with that Robert. It matters. They're buddies. Robert. Yeah, that's, that's true. right. That's true. That's true. Uh, they will go out on the foraging expedition. You guys are going to cross the Great Plaza and head towards that dumbass yeah. statue. That oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing, guys. That statue is going to come alive as soon as we get close to it. We need to haul ass straight into the temple. No delay. And yeah, I agree. I heard the term monsoon. Yeah. You did. So the, yeah. the haul ass part? Sounds like something out of a slapstick comedy about to happen. Well, if we go across, <laughs> we go across <laughs> over to the library first. You mean which her. way the wind is blowing? Yeah, sure. Probably right up our cahatchets. Okay. I know which way the wind's blowing. <laughs> <laughs> so while we go to the library first and reconnoiter, because that's the closest building, I think, to the temple, correct? You are correct. We'll go to the library first, then we'll make our dash from the library to the temple if that's all right with everybody here which one is then to here correct yeah. I, and like which way guys, is the wind blowing when you open the door you immediately who wants to open the door uh, i'll open and the fine. door uh give me a dex check as the wind is pretty potent and headed right in your face <laughs> six yeah, you get knocked on your keister. Uh, you know what? Uh, odd, you take one hit point, even you take two. You're missing a tooth as you take two hit points. <laughs> uh, the good news is the lock on that door is extremely sturdy. Uh, the bad news is uh, the rain is coming in sideways into your dry area. Second plan, just take this one on for, for size here. The wind is blowing uh, down the alley towards the shining big giant gym uh, down the main pathway. Yeah. 
Correct. That dragon worm thing probably isn't flying right now. I mean, it could, that's, but it probably isn't. Yeah. You want weather. to head to the temple then? Why don't we reconnoiter the other direction? The wind yeah. will be at our back, blowing our scent right to the dragon anyways, yeah. but at least we'll tumble in the right direction. Well, and that seems to be the way that the DM wants us to go, so hey, let's do it. Uh, the, D the DM is ambivalent on which way you guys do it. But, but this is a Right now, that's the wind. Yeah. Okay. If, if we go out the alley <laughs> behind the bar, that should block the wind for us to start with. And then we can see what it's like when we get to the road. And then... Yeah, it's going to blow us right down that road. Well, that's what I'm, I'm planning on, especially a gnome that weighs like 30 pounds. All right. Yeah, yeah the dragon... Is. Well, the dragonborn, you know, not so much. We uh, can always anchor the gnome to the dragonborn. That's true. Me, Is master, it? you blaster. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we want to, uh, who wants to try and shut the door now that the monsoon is entering in? Go ahead, man, Fang, give me a strength roll. Just a check, not a save. Seven again. Yeah, you aren't having much luck. The, uh, Don't you have a plus on that? Yeah, I had a plus five. But since it's not a saving throw, it's, it wouldn't be a plus seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the floor is really slick now. Phineas is bitching incessantly. Well, I'll, I'll help him push. push. There you go. Go ahead and roll an advantage, man thing. Woo! Woo! Oh, ha <laughs> ha! 25. Man Fang managed to, to slam the door, holds up a small ivory-esque item, and offers it to Felix. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to shove it back in and go lick the, uh, try to suck the taps dry if there's any alcohol left in them. There's, a, there's a few a drops, uh, and nothing says happy like. I don't know. If you're no drinking way. after those gnomes. You better do a constitution roll. Uh, I I was just thinking one of these gnomes probably always wanted to be a dentist, so he's yeah. probably willing to put that back in for. I think it was Herbie. Yes, Herbie the elf. You know, I'm thinking those gnomes probably have a lot of experience prying gold teeth out of dead people's mouths, but that don't mean they know how to put them back in. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that. Just keep it in your pocket. Maybe something something will happen. Maybe you'll find a cursed tooth or something. That'd be kind of cool. So we're going to head out the back door. Going out the back door, going along the line past the Serpentine yes. Temple and reaching this uh, inner curtain wall that holds... Hey, yeah, I'll just... I'll just keep moving stars around. Uh, folks at home, uh, right up here is a temple or a palace type thing. And it holds an orb, an oddly shaped orb covered in diamonds. When the sun is out, not today, but when the sun is out, it glitters with a thousand flecks of light. And these guys are <laughs> con confirming that this is probably gemstone laden material and probably the wealthiest thing in Nizumi. Uh, out the back door, it requires absolutely no strength whatsoever. The rain is kind of harsh along this small alleyway, but you will not be buffeted. Uh, as you reach this corner, uh, a variety of things, including a dead were rat body that you killed two days ago, uh, goes zip skittering along the path uh, because you guys are just fucking killing things and not picking up the bodies. <laughs> so there's a whole lot of debris going on. Uh, so there you go. Um, do you want to step out? Is the big key. I mean, I'll step out. I have no idea, but I'm gonna. I'll step out first, but I'll be prepared to ride on my turtle shell. Fair, Felix. Your idea. My idea is let's take one of these ropes that we have and try to tie it to the corner, so that we can maybe pull ourselves back if the wind is too strong and the mud on the ground gets us. Thoughts? That's a good idea. I have 50 feet of rope. Um, I hope you guys have more. We have 100 feet. Uh, uh, we have 200 feet. 200 feet of the really good stuff. Uh, didn't part of the good stuff get cut 
We cut ten feet of it off. <laughs> ten foot off of it, it, and then we've got uh, another hundred foot from the guy at the stables. So we've got a hundred and ten, we've got two hundred feet of silk rope. If you tie that ten foot back on, call, call it one hundred and ninety-eight. How far do we need to go to get on the other side of the wall? Uh, the wall is going to be sixty feet in. All right, we can just tie one off then. So, Manfang, uh, did you step out, or were you going to go ahead and listen to the plan first? I'll step it out. I don't listen to plan. <laughs> <laughs> Diplomacy at its <laughs> finest. Uh, give me a dexterity saving throw. The winds buff at you. See what it is. Twelve. Now you got to re-roll. It's off the table. Fine. I'm t- I'm fine with that. Nineteen. <laughs> Fair you're enough. Okay. Your your sturdy dragonborn legs uh, claw into the cobblestone, and as one wear rat after another goes whizzing past you, uh, you can see in the very dim light, in between crackles of lightning, a looming ominous building within this other curtain wall. As you look back, Felix, Copius, and Leaf are tying themselves off together uh, with your turtle shell resting against your back creating an aerodynamic cone uh you're doing okay but being out in the open roll a d20 let's see if you get hit by lightning (laughs) oh oh, oh. shit straight d20 no modifiers right (laughs) a lightning bolt hits within six feet of you causing initial deafness and temporary blindness as everything is all white and fuzzy and you cannot hear the storm anymore. So it must have passed. Uh, Leaf, Felix, and Copius, you notice uh, a stunned dragonborn (laughs) doing his best Ray Charles. Uh, You can yell to him. Uh, You are unaware that he is deaf as the lightning bolt narrowly narrowly missed him after that experience i think i might want to speed up my pace just a tiny bit does anybody else really think we should have checked to make sure there was no sewer system in this town (laughs) there's a sewer system in my pants after that lightning bolt (laughs) (laughs) yours what do you think man thing looks like (laughs) i think with all these werewolves you would get my ass down in the sewer system you know, hey, are those edible? I mean, honestly. For you, yes. The, the wear rats are completely edible for you. Felix probably don't want to eat one, but the rest of us could. I, I'm thinking they probably smell pretty good right now. I'm, I could probably grab onto one and just float down the road with it at this point. Yeah, you could use it as a toboggan. <laughs> Yelled a man fang to grab a hold of one. Well, oh, sorry, well, man fang. Climb into a carcass. <laughs> Like, what was that one scene from Star Wars? You just climb into its carcass. The tauntaun, yeah. Yeah. So uh, we got Manfang in the middle of the road, uh, dodging lightning bolts from Zeus. Felix, Copius, and Leaf, you have all managed to tie yourselves off with the Uh, nice silk rope. I think it's more like rappelling our way down. That's kind of what I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah. We tie one, tie it to the building somehow. Just a loop. Remember, it's a slight rise into this other area. Yeah, we still got the wind blowing us. Oh, yeah. You'll be quite buoyant. Yeah. Hmm. So if your calculations are correct, you can tie it off onto this building and kind of linchpin your way in through the opening. uh, And with any luck at all, you will be able to uh, get yourself out of danger Maybe the wall. inside one of these areas. I, I want to make sure that the uh, copious is between the two human-sized creatures, so it doesn't look like a kite on the end of this rope. <laughs> I think that is an excellent idea because, as we all know from watching Back to the Future, kite tails attract lightning. One point two one gigawatts. Copious awakes to find himself in a beaming <laughs> metropolis. <laughs> Ah, D&D. You can go anywhere you want. Uh, So, uh, 
yes, Copius can uh, lynch himself off in between the two. Man Fang, uh, the clouds are starting to part. Hey, you're starting to hear the storm rise up and bellow loudly. Uh, and it appears as though you're going to be okay. But how about we have you roll another d20? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to die. Big hey, numbers, you know that metal crown you're wearing? That was a great idea. Metal crown with a sticking top. Yep. I'm, a, I'm basically just a metal cone. Yeah. You might as well just hold a bat above your head. What'd you roll? 14. Not even close this time. Uh, it appears as though it might have even struck the temple ahead of you. Uh, as you regain uh, your auditory and other sensory abilities, uh, you notice these other three are lashing the rope to an outcropping of rock, and it appears as though they are going to join you potentially. All right, that's cool. Who so. is first in this rope line? Fair enough. Your rolls have been stellar so far. <laughs> uh, moving to the red dice. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so, are you stepping out? One, one, one. I'm going to do my best to stay up, but yeah, let's step out and kind of repel my way down. Let's do the dexterity first. 17. Oh, yeah. You find your way. You, being the last sane individual, realize that if you focus your footsteps in the cracks of the cobblestones you have a much higher chance of maintaining balance he does, uh, it, does his best work in those cracks you know uh, thank you griselda <laughs> that's okay you, that's you and man book. fang look like you are national correspondents covering gulf storms <laughs> as the water just cascades behind your back well, next up is going to be banana. copious <laughs> I'm just suspended like on a line between the two of them at this point. Is my yeah? This two aren't even touching the ground, pretty much. Is it a dex check? Yep. Fourteen. Uh, actually, you also figure out. Oh, okay. Well, he's you know he's kind of lynching in. So you head on out. How about you? Everybody but Leaf he rolls a d20 straight up as the storm intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. Oh, I thought that was a one. It's a seven. Oh, I got so scared for a second. Twenty-three. <laughs> like it matters. Uh, copious. A jagged bolt of lightning appears in front of you, right in front of Felix and Manfang, uh, smacking the side of a building and sending stones scattering, but not close enough to injure the two larger members of the party. Leaf. It's all up to you. Uh, they, <laughs> they are slowly fighting their way against Hurricane Katrina. 20. Easily. Uh, he's a fat ass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he anchors the group, and you four begin your trek towards infamy. As you begin the rise up, uh, everybody give me a perception check. Uh, 11. 17. <clears throat> 19. What do we modify with again? Perception. Uh, wisdom, I think. Wisdom? Yeah. Yep. Oh, no. You should, have a, you should have a perception modifier already, bud. Yeah, plus two. I got 11. Uh, Felix, copious, as you look back to Leaf, you see the last remaining uh, were-rat scaring <laughs> this way. Uh, it, you know what? One to two, it's on a collision course. Three through six, it's not. It is not. It appears as it's going to split the uprights between Manfang and the rope line. Uh, however, that may <laughs> or may not be good eating if you want to try and snag it or if you want to cut the rope and let Copious ride it. How many days ago did we kill those things? Uh, two. Oh, it was real hot outside, wasn't it? Yes, oh, it no, was. It's just well seasoned. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. There's probably well, ro rot grubs or uh, some kind of it's mite. Still, it's 
it's the juices are building up, man. Fang, you have to let meat season like that. You can't just yeah. eat it. Yeah, you gotta age it. Yeah. Gotta right. age it. Right. right. Gotta yeah. age. Yeah. I forgot. I'm. I don't know much cooking. You uh, need to read Shogun. I, I'm more of. I'm more of a word. I'm more of a man of words than of prepping <laughs> meal and hard work. I learned all of my uh, learning from crappy movies made from good books. <laughs> okay. Uh, Felix and Copius, you're the only two that noticed this thing. I'm not um, touching it. Leaf, you at the back of the pack. All of a sudden, something catches uh, your attention out of the corner of your eye, and pew, one of those dead were rats goes skittering by. Uh, Manfang being at the front of the column, uh, you suddenly hear a clatter as it creeps in behind you and goes shooting past you. It ramps up off the cobblestone goes airborne for just a few seconds before it falls back down below your eye level i'm gonna yell back to them that was sick dudes as he yells back into the storm he gets a mouthful of water and begins to choke and gag (laughs) (laughs) you know what it's time for you to roll a d20 to see if a stick is being thrown at you by the storm (laughs) Or a, better yet, a coconut. Let's see if a coconut is <laughs> no. any. <laughs> actually, I got something to tell you. Did you know that a coconut is actually as hard <laughs> as a human skull? And Just let's see how it. much damage it does if it hits you. As, you say, as we're about to find out, man fang, when it cracks you in the head. All right. All right. Any modifiers? Nope. <laughs> Eight. Uh, a coconut does go flying past your head, but with your knowledge of coconuts and their density, you manage to duck <laughs> out of the way and not take one to the face. Uh, I'm like a man of literature. You know, learning is power right there. Uh, man Fang, you are in the lead still. You creep up, and as you reach the horizon event, you notice that the temple beyond is in a depressed section. Uh, probably had a moat around it at some point in time. And you see three bridges spaced like this. You may assume there's probably a fourth bridge on the other side of the temple. Looking up into the sky amid the flashes of lightning, uh, you see the orb above the temple. Uh, it is stained in black from wear and tear, uh, but the jewels in it uh, still have a little bit of a shine as they reflect the lightning in them. Uh, give me a perception check, Noodle. Doesn't see squat. What was a pretty ball in the sky? <laughs> uh, Felix, you are up next. Uh, you see the exact same thing. I will take a perception from you. No, oh, wait. Hey. Jesus hey. Christ. Are, you, are you guys blindfolded? It's raining. <laughs> it is a monsoon. Like, I'm more dodging coconuts you. and rats. You know what? You bring up a good point. It's time for another bolt of lightning. <laughs> You guys need to learn to be quiet. Yeah, why do I tempt fate? Why Everybody do tempt D20. <laughs> Damn. I know there's a one in there somewhere. Ha <laughs> ha! 20. 20. Mm. Uh, near the back of the column, Felix, you hear a loud crash <laughs> and maybe a oh, uh, from copious and leaf as that oh, will be oh. too close for comfort and maybe you guys need to get inside. Copious uh, you being much shorter, reach the horizon event at the same time Leaf does. Uh, both of you give me investigation checks, please. Uh, 17. 16. As you guys reach this, you also notice the recessed pit, most likely a moat. The building closely resembles uh, uh, the state house or uh, Congress uh, rectangular with a dome with an orb on top of it. You both notice that the right side of the building appears to have been, we'll say eaten away by acid perhaps, or heavily damaged by acid rain. 
caused by too much magic in the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yes. Yeah. That's erosion. Yeah. yeah. In, in any case, there's a very sizable gap along the right side of that building. Some might even say it's large enough to, oh, I don't know, hold a very large Us. creature. <laughs> creature with very big wings. You know, like it would fly. For those of you wishing to be eaten. <laughs> so, uh, as you stand your ground as best you can with three of you lashed together, uh, you see fronds, coconuts, uh, small birds all being strewn about in the heavy winds. Uh, the rain continues to pelt your back, except for Manfang, who is at this time. A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle with his uh, shell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you stand at the opening of the building. What would you like to do? I would like to move away from the opening to the left. The opposite direction from the, the quite clearly, obviously acid melted stonework <laughs> with the big hole. I want no room for misunderstanding the direction Copius is moving. So not here, but here. Yes. Fair Apologia. enough. Well, I guess I'll lead since I'm tied to the front of him. Uh, the uh, bridges across the moat are, of course, centrally located. Uh, the moat is currently... I'm not saying dry because it's a monsoon, but it is certainly emptied. Uh, as you move to the left, you notice that this back wall along the temple has another bridge, uh, but this back wall is severely crumbled. Uh, and it appears as though it's age, possibly acid, and certainly the monsoon uh, as uh, general causes for the poor thing. Uh, behind that wall is a lush valley. Next stop, lush valley. Uh, as you uh, approach the building, uh, let's give me stealth at advantage checks, please. From all of us? Yep. Is the back wall of the building out of the rain at all? Do we get any shelter from it? Does it appear to have any shelter? Yes, because the the building itself is is taking the brunt of the wind damage, so it is up and over. So you would certainly be out of the rain if you hugged the back wall. Twenty. Twenty. Natural. It wasn't natural. Sixteen. 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 Yep. Felix and Copius. Natural twenty. Nice. Yeah, uh, the rain is certainly masking your ability to go ahead and hide. Uh, so if you wish to make your way around the building, you would most likely be out of the rain if you hug the building. Is that how you want to play this? Yes. As you come close to the moat pit, which might have even been a beautiful lush water feature considering the ostentatious nature of the building. Uh, you see a fish flopping around in this moat. Uh, you're close to water, but not that close. <laughs> so that would give you the information that this storm is mega sized. <laughs> Lovely. As you go around the corner of the building, Hurricane Katrina. That's right. As you go around the corner of the building, it's been a while since we've rolled to see if anybody gets hit by lightning. Of course it has, because you know lightning's real. Get shit, shit, shit. Thirteen. I'm sixteen. I'm safe. I hear a shit out there. Yeah, you did. Did we get hit by light? Oh, two, three. <laughs> Uh, you guys are going to take some concussion damage. Uh, Copious, yeah. only for your shorter size, you miss that cone of shock. Uh, gentlemen, each of you take four hit points, blind and deaf. Yeah. <laughs> Copious, looks like you're in charge now as Man Fang. <sighs> <sighs> Continues to head towards the corner of the building. Man, yeah, I'm not stopping. 
once you round that corner, uh, the building is making a great block. Uh, and it's just a crappy rainy day out there, but you aren't getting rained on. But you can see the sheets of water going over your head. Kind of Opius, nice. how are you going to lead these uh, blind deaf mutes around? Boy, we uh, should have an initiative. That'd be really fun right now. <laughs> I I don't know that there's much I can do other than tug on the rope from both sides of them to try to get them to follow with me as they're blind and deaf at the moment. I'll see uh, if they pick up on the signal to follow. Uh, Lee Felix intelligence check, please. And. You're muted. Dan. Uh, Copious, you are now, uh, oh, crap, I can't remember her name now. Oh, um, Michonne from The Walking Dead, you have a pair of dumbass zombies walking with you as you lead them around the corner. The water again shoots off the top of the building, thereby creating a nice zone of comfort. Man Fang is already there looking around. It's, it's not bad. Not bad here. Uh, there are narrow windows in this building about eight feet up off the ground. So you guys have been walking underneath them. Uh, somebody is going to have to get on somebody else's shoulders in order to look around. Leaf really tall and Felix, you are still uh, blind and deaf. I'm going to ask Manfang to see if uh, I've, I imagine Manfang, you're you're fairly tall, right? At least six feet. No, I'm not six feet. I'm five foot six. You're a short dragonborn. Yeah, I am. At I'm six feet. Wait, 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 wait. Let me check again. Let me check. Uh, Leaf, I believe what you meant to say was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, never mind. I'm Manfang. six feet. <laughs> <laughs> It says my size is medium. Really? I thought yeah. dragonborn were large. I did too. Except before or after the growth spurt of the summer. Yeah, you should be taller now. That's true. I think it's <laughs> I think five six is what you start with, and then you're supposed to roll dice to add to it. Then I want to add dice and roll many times. So well, I get to what? Uh Leaf, uh your vision is starting to come back, but not your hearing. Felix. What? Your hearing is starting to come back, but not your vision. Oh, my gosh. We almost made a whole party member up between the two of you. Um, so how close are we now to one of the bridges that goes into the building across yeah. over the moat? You can actually walk into the moat from here. It's it's a stone moat, uh, and it's, it's not smooth. Uh, it was <laughs> most likely a decorative water feature. Uh, that I go down. If I can traverse it without too much trouble, I'll go down the moat and come back up the other side. Give me a dex check. Keep in mind, you're still tied together with these two, so you're going to be leading them into the moat. <laughs> oh, no. That's dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, I'm going to need a bonus, but two. Damn it. Dex check from Leaf and Felix to see if they tumble in Shit. deaf and dumb. 18. Natural 20. Uh, Copious, you Ooh. slip, but you are <laughs> no, suspended we're at, we're, from the rope. We're out of the wind, guys. Let's untie this crap. Right now. <laughs> Just cut right. the rope. No, no, we're not cutting the rope. Untie the rope. Leaf, uh, both senses have returned. Felix, both senses have returned. You look over and you see Copious swinging precariously over this empty well there's a little bit of sludge at the bottom but empty moat cut the rope cut the rope oh no this rope's I'm expensive i'm tying it cut the we rope let's untie it the rope we're gonna need to figure out how to get back up wind though but yeah we'll figure that out later uh, uh yeah. as an answer to your previous question it's about 25 30 feet that way and the bridge traverses the moat just fine however on this side of the building the large arched doors are gone uh, looking around you don't see them uh, so when you get to that point anything inside that particular area you can call it thirds uh, 
would potentially be able to see you. You want to look in the window, Copious? That's what I was thinking. Is yeah. I, well, I, I, I got to boost go. you up there. I got to get the across boat. the moat first. Oh, let's, right, let's, let's cross the moat. Let's man. cross the moat. <laughs> Everybody, Whoops. dex checks. Yeah, watch me fall. Sliding down should be a piece of cake. For all of us? Oh, yep. 18. Natural 20. Dirty 20. Let's dex again. Hopefully it's good. Do, 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 do. Mm, seven. Man fangs down at the bottom. The other three have traversed over, <laughs> and even Leaf's stout height still puts him underneath the narrow window. window. I can boost Copious. I can boost you up. Yeah, put me on your shoulders. And I should, if it's eight, foot, right. eight feet off the ground, then that should put us just about perfect. Yeah. All right. Man Fang, would you like to yell loudly for assistance? No, I'm going to be like, hey. And then later I'm going to be like, why didn't you guys hear me? Fair enough. And we're going to be like, why don't you get your own self up? Uh, with Felix Copius and Leaf hugging the building, it's time for another lightning strike, Man Fang. <laughs> <laughs> Good news is you're low ground, so I'll let you roll at advantage. Yeah. If you get two ones, you deserve to die. <laughs> I do. If, if I do, I'm just going to... If that I'm does happen, I'm leaving the party no matter what. <laughs> That's what you want. You'll get another scar. You'll be like the Joker. <laughs> exactly. You want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> What'd you get? Okay, and now let me roll the other one. 19. You're fine. Uh, it strikes the back wall and crumbles a little bit more. Copious, uh, after navigating up Leaf's stature, uh, you, I assume, uh, discreetly peek in here. Uh, an aroma wafts towards your nostrils uh, of fecal matter. Uh, as you peer into the window, you notice that the windows in the front are offset from the windows in the back. So you can do this to see the rain coming in. Uh, in this section, because you are on the far left section of this building, uh, it's a lot of bones, a lot of fecal matter, uh, some torn tapestries, some broken statues. Looks like the inside of a temple. Um, but other than that, not much. Adorning each corner <clears throat> and in about eight feet increments are old statues of turtles. <clears throat> Some of these turtles could, in fact, be used as a ladder to get up to the uh, tile roof of this building for as long as the tiles hold out. <clears throat> We'll call this Hurricane Zeppelin because it's a lot of air <laughs> with a potential for a lot of damage. <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was a great I want to make sure I'm following the description. So we have um, uh, stacks of, of statues that go up along the inside wall. They go up. Or... Uh, no, outside wall. That's okay. On the outside wall. Uh -huh. so you could theoretically climb up the outside of the building. Correct. Well, I'm going to relay this back down. <clears throat> so how much of that rope do we have left? So this yeah. is the entrance. Okay. These are all statues. And then the windows, the statues go up about 16 feet. So the windows at the eight foot mark are in between. And then this is the roof line here. And then once you get over to the far side, you would see the cone and then the thing with gemstones in it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I should have become an artist. Uh, but the good news is copious. On the left side, the western side, uh, you just smell stuff. You don't see anything moving around. You also notice that it's a pretty wide building. Uh, really wide. Like you could put three, four wagons side by side. Big room. You're, You're muted. muted. 
Yeah. That was a great plan. Unfortunately, we will Damn never it, do I it. forgot what I said. I said, what's the outside of the wall like? Uh, the, the wall is rough hewn stone, uh, but the statues, uh, because of the formation as turtles, uh, do allow some handholds because they kind of are bow legged creatures. Um, so that you can step on a knee, step on a shoulder, get atop the uh, shell, stand on top of the head. And if you are tall enough or you have enough dexterity, you could leap up to the uh, ridge line and yeah. climb up the tile. Uh, you would surmise that this side is probably just going to be wet but not windy. Go ahead, Copius. Please. Question for you. <clears throat> I seem to recall in a previous adventure, you had spider climb as a spell. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. I've got spider climb. It lasts for an hour. Uh, while I am a fair climber, uh, as gnomes go, once I get above that roof line, I would go airborne. Yeah, I know. Let's be honest about it. Um, I'm a good climber. Fly like a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> I am a great uh, the thing about spider climb, your your hands stay free. It's like your feet stick to what you're climbing. I, I think a wall climbing ninja turtle dragonborn sounds like a fine way to approach this. I, it might be the best idea. And but what's he gonna do? Once he got here's the point, here's what we gotta discuss. What's he do once he gets up there? Well, let's now, tie the rope to his waist. This, this is a up. diamond diamond encrusted orb. Correct. Stone orb. Okay. So either you're going to be able to pry the diamonds out of it or knock it off of there. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm worried about both. But Valley of the I don't see the, the orb. It's a stone orb. It's not going to blow away in the wind. We say that. No, I'd rather go take it out of the jungle than fight a damn acid breathing dragon. It's made out of like it's just gonna turn into dust. And Listen, he's he's an acid breathing dragon. It off, I've got a bad feeling it's gonna fall through the roof and end up down there with the dragons at any damn way. It's gonna hit him in the head, knock it unconscious for Try not to smile, Frank. That'd be, that'd Try not cool. to smile, Frank. Stop giving him ideas. <laughs> I know. Come on. Uh, sa sadly, I wish I would have come up with that idea. I have already it formulated what happens. Oh, how right. heavy is that? Is, some, is that something I pick up? And so why don't we have him go up and see if he can pry the diamonds out into have a satchel? Take, have him take a tie the rope to his waist, the excess yep, rope yep. to his waist as he goes up. Okay. I am so hoping for a coconut to that. Head. <laughs> <laughs> Damn lightning is what's going to happen. You're going to roll exactly. bad and lightning going to hit your ass up there. But man thing, once you're up there, if you could knock the thing off, great. Yeah. I, you're going to have to make the estimate. But if man thing can get to the top easily enough, he can let the rope down and leave you or Felix <coughs> to camper up there too. Copius is airborne. He's going to be a damn kite if he goes One of us can do it. Perfect. Then you don't even have to climb. It'll be very easy to get you up there. I won't be able to do anything for you once I'm up there. Here, let me try to persuade you of the, of the value of this <laughs> process. Persuade me. Copius, I can help you with this one. Felix, when you throw Copius up on the roof, a man in a fedora and a long coat is going to appear moments later and say he's got this letter to deliver to you. <laughs> he was instructed by Copious V. Bitters 85 years ago to deliver to you at this exact time and place, <laughs> which is okay. awesome. I guess you lost the bet because I'm actually here. <laughs> All right. Is this what we're going to do then? So just to clarify, what we're going to do is spider climb Man Fang up there, have him try to push this thing off the roof. All yeah. the while, he will have a rope tied around his waist, and then Leaf is going to climb up after him and help oh, out. That part I did, Leaf did not agree to that bullshit. That, uh, it's a good thing we're clarifying. That'll be that kite we were talking about. Oh, the kite. Yeah, we can. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. I'll hold you. I'm very good at flying kites. And if he's just if he's going to go up and try to knock this thing off, there doesn't need to be anybody else up there. His hands are going to be free. Well, right. but do we want him to knock it off and throw it off the roof so it makes a loud noise, or are we going to try to lower it to the ground so somebody's got to be up there to help him lower it to the ground if we're doing it that way? 
with all the monsoon noise coming through, I I'm gonna catch the orb. <laughs> I'm not catching it. Not catching yeah. that orb. So I should... right. Where's uh, where's Pierre when we need him? He might help us catch it. Damn it! All right, I'm going to. I want to stay in the windowsill and watch out and keep an eye out right. for that worm wherever it may be because we haven't seen it yet. So. <clears throat> Work? And I and this means he's going to climb up, and I got to climb a rope up behind him, leaving copious hanging on to a windowsill. Window. No, he can just stand in the damn windowsill. That's true, because nothing ever bad happens hey, when you're silhouetted can, in a window. No, he can, <laughs> he can jump down if it becomes a problem, right? So, to be clear, yeah. Manfang gets spider climbed with a rope around his waist. Felix guards the rear, Copius stands in the window, and Leaf climbs up to assist Manfang in an evaluation of what she can do. So is this... Yes, 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 yes. Uh, is this a spell I can only do once? Uh, you could cast it twice, I suppose. Have you? I assume you have all your spell slots left. Yeah, I do. I've got every one of them. Is it a Fair concentration spell, though? Yeah, it's concentration. Then no. You no. can only concentrate on one. I'll tell you, I am pretty nimble. I think I can climb up there as well. No, 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 no. No, I want to be a climb. I want to be a spider. No, you're, you're getting the spider climb. You're, you're screwed. You climb you're up. definitely going up. <laughs> yeah. Climb what's, up there. What's your dexterity, Felix? Uh, plus three. Okay, yeah. Mine's only plus one. Uh, same. All right. Well, here's – all right. Here, well, then that's what we'll do here. Man Fang, we'll tie the one of the silk ropes on Man Ooh. Fang. And I got a plus five for acrobatics. So if I do get blown off, I will stick the landing. That's even better. Yeah. Stick or, the landing. Die. <laughs> or die. Or die trying. But if you die, you might snap in the back. We won't have to hunt for game. That's, That's true. Right. You'll have a big meaty human that you can eat. Uh, the yeah, the mountains of Peru and rugby. Yeah, <laughs> we'll just call you Timothy. <laughs> I was thinking more like that song. Oh, true. Was it free that did that. I think so. Timothy? Yeah. That's a while back, though. Yeah, as before your time. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. so, so, good plan? We got a plan. We plan, have a plan sucks, but Let's not we're call it good. It. All right, then I'm going to cast Spider Climb on Man Fang. Man Fang. Man Fang, you're a spider. You get to be a, a Klingon a walking along the bottom of the Enterprise. We're going to tie a rope around Man Fang. Harness style. Okay, so it's gonna be a shoulders and waist. Lightning's still cracking, but nowhere near you guys. All right, and that's up. And then take this extra rope with you in case we do have to try to let it down. You're gonna have to tie it around it like a net. And this thirty foot piece of steel rod. We need you to hold it really high. <laughs> no, you don't have to hold the rod. Just squeeze it between the cheeks of your ass <laughs> while you're up there. That's going to hurt even more. You could be Cartman with a wild E. Coyote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put this here in my back pocket while I tie this rope. Okay, we got a plan. Do it. All right. Spell cast, tied up like a, a bundled baby. Uh, as you reach the peak, uh, as expected, it is a little bit slick, uh, but you're going to be fine uh, as you climb ever higher towards the rotunda. Oh, uh, you can feel the wind whipping across, uh, but your magic is holding. Uh, now, remember, you came up on the left. The rotunda's in the center. The stone is above the rotunda. So you're going to have to uh, presumably, you are smart enough to stay below the wind line, get there, and go up to the rotunda that way. Uh, let's go ahead and roll an intelligence. I knew you were going to. I knew you were going to do that. God dang! Well, he didn't say that's what he was going to do. Doesn't he have a minus three for intelligence? Yes, he does. <laughs> Son of a bitch! I hate you. <laughs> Big roll, oh, man, Big We know roll. you can do it. <laughs> That seven real quick just turned into a four. Yeah, you uh, you decide to take the shortcut because screw it, you're magically propelled. Uh, as he does so, you do not lose your footing. 
uh, you are protected by magic. However, uh, let's see if a coconut gets you. Oh, man. <laughs> no. Evan of damn coconuts. Okay, okay, we're good. 14. I think we're good. Are Not we good? even close. No coconuts. Uh, no you coconuts. have learned from your uh, lack of intelligence. You walk down a little bit and walk straight across. Uh, as you <laughs> go, you don't even need to roll to notice that you're breaking some tiles and they <laughs> down below Felix Leaf and Copious huh. <laughs> uh, but you reach the cupola which has narrow windows in it uh, and it is short enough that you can spider climb right on up now Leaf or I'm sorry Felix you're the one climbing in after him. Uh, did you tell him to wait, or is that rope just going to keep moving along? To the <laughs> no, I didn't him tell him to wait. Unfortunately, the rope is walking away, so I guess I'm going up without a rope. Thank go you, ahead. man. Go ahead. go ahead and make your acrobatics. You know, if you would have just said it, I would have been fine. With it. <laughs> yeah, but I just don't think I was lucky enough it's for that. Felix Pinata floating right in front of the dragon. Eleven. Hello. <laughs> you managed to get above the windows and skitter up to the side. Now, as long as you hold on to the rope, you may slip and slide, but you should be okay. The tiles are very wet. Uh, the wind is just shooting a sheet of water over the top. Uh, above, you can see Manfang's butt as he wanders over to the cupola, and you are moving along with him. Uh, the rope, still sliding. <laughs> Unless you want to gather it up as you go. Yeah, am I able Nothing to, to see here, rope? folks? Just a rope dangling from the roof. <laughs> am I able to grab a hold of the rope then? Be a roll. We'll see. I would assume it's 15. probably fairly easy. Yeah, that you're fine. Uh, so you are gathering up the extra rope. Leaf, uh, you got no way to follow him because he's yeah. uh, holding the rope for whatever reason. You aren't really sure because nobody ever thought about this one. Copious. Oh. Man, that is just a putrid odor. Uh, give me a perception check. It's coming from that way. Nine. You don't hear anything. <laughs> hey, guys, it's okay. I don't hear it. It won't hurt us if they can't hear us. Doc's alive. He's in the Old West, but he's alive. <laughs> uh, Manfang, you've reached the cupola. Uh, it is a short squat cupola, and it appears as though, with your magic, you can walk up the side. It'll probably sustain your weight uh, because it has probably a four-foot... It looks like a stone egg from this angle, and it's just peppered with stones clear stones probably diamonds uh Ooh. and there are the windows in the cupola so you can spider climb your way up to the stone you can examine the structure of the cupola or you can look in the windows i'm gonna look in the windows perception check oh, table uh, ah! i need a box you need a bigger table I do. Oh, that's 19. That's nice. There's a creature down below. <laughs> Maybe I should be just a little bit quieter. Uh, Felix. Hey, guys, there's a creature down below. <laughs> <laughs> you notice know man fang. Look, turn around. And because he's so high up, the wind is distorting his voice. You hear a uh, pedophile on the floor. You aren't sure what he's saying. Not, yeah, I gotta let someone in door. What? I'm gonna look through the window myself. I, As you climb up, you see a serpentine tail made of black scales uh, with an arrowhead tip on the end of it. Uh, below, uh, every once in a while, it moves through some gold, possibly silver coins. 
and returns. Uh, as you get up there, you can look into the window some more. You can examine the uh, construction of the cupola, or you can take a look at the egg, which resembles uh, a tortoise egg. And when you said there's a, a bunch of gold coins down there, is this like a Scrooge McDuck situation? Not not so much, but there's enough that you can see it because uh, you're okay. about 30 feet up. And you know what? Now's a great time for that storm to rear its ugly head with lightning. Manfang, <laughs> Felix, give me some rolls. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Odd leave, even copious. Copious, as you turn to leaf to ask what's going on, a crap load of tiles just rain down like it's snowing uh, as a lightning bolt has struck the rooftop not too far from Manfang, but far enough to keep him. What, what was your role? Yeah, he's blind and deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Felix, all you hear is ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Good news is, Copious, you didn't get hit by any of them. Bad news is, there were a lot. And maybe the next time you look in, there's a sliver of light. Oops. Uh, Leaf, uh, you're keeping an eye on the perimeter. The yep. storm has not diminished in its intensity. Uh, every once in a while, you see a coconut go flying over. Uh, you uh, heard the loud crash. You yeah. saw the tiles waterfall over, uh, but no bodies. So Manfang and Felix are still up there somewhere. I'm going to kind of step out, not around the building, but rather just move out far enough to where I can try to see them. You're going to have to go down into the moat and over to the other side, or... You can take the bridge over, putting you in the dead center of no, the building. I'll, I'll do the moat. Okay. Uh, dex check to get out. It's easy getting in. 17. You scamper up the other side. You look. You maintain your distance below the eight feet windows. And you see Felix the Rogue. And you see Manfang doing this. Clearly, he's probably been hit by lightning. Or and something. I'll look at Copious and do this. <laughs> Copious, everything is fine. <laughs> uh, up top, Felix, uh, Manfang appears to be in some distress. Ah! He's not going to hear anything that I'm going to say anyway. Nope. So you said there's like a big orb. Is that the diamond encrusted orb? Mm -hmm. And it's so close the, by the us? the cupola, the little cone. Uh -huh. Thanks for caring so much. And then the feet. stone up top, about three, three and a half, four feet across, embedded just peppered with stones it appears as though uh without a roll fine craftsmanship huh. very nice i'm gonna try to make my way to it hopefully shielding myself from the rain and try to get to a diamond that is close enough that i can touch it to try to pry it out man fang don't roll below five Roll a d20. If you roll below a five, you're going to flail and potentially punch Felix in the face. Come on, dude. Sorry. Nine. Yeah. Uh, as you flail about the 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 brightness is dimming and shapes are starting to become back and you can hear the howling of the storm. Your senses are returning. Felix, uh, slowly you creep, uh, noting that the tile is very damp here and you grab a hold of the cupola and there, right there, is the stone. And from what you can see, there's like 10 diamonds uh, right there. Some are large, some are smaller, but each one's worth a fair amount of money. Just like Indiana Jones here, I'm gonna touch 
<coughs> diamonds and try to give it a little pull. It's just very gently to see how well those diamonds are embedded in this stone. The stone's going to fall on top of you. Uh, that's why I'm very gentle. I don't want to disturb the stone at this point because the stone, I assume it's heavy enough that there's no way I'm going to be able to lift it in this storm without machinery. Give me an insight check. Oh. No, I'm a strong man. I can lift anything. Nine? You're right. You have no idea. <laughs> uh, you do know that it's a top of cupola which is about six feet around. Uh, so your engineering skills aren't really up to snuff, but from the appearance, it's gonna be a heavy stone, unless it's hollow, uh, but it's not so heavy that the cupola cannot hold it up. Uh, the stones uh, appear to have been fashioned almost in a screw formation so that they could be placed in and then locked in into the stone is your initial assessment on your first gem. All right, I'm gonna try to pry out a couple of maybe the gems. Before you See, do that, since Leaf is now outside the protective room, <laughs> let's see if lightning hits him. <laughs> Mute. Five. <laughs> uh, the wall behind you suffers a direct hit uh, and you are propelled forward. Give me a dex check to make sure you don't nosedive into the moat. <laughs> That'd be funny. Into the moat he goes and he's going to suffer. Five hit points of damage as blood begins to flow freely from his fractured nasal. Uh, Coke is... <laughs> uh, you are now alone, okay? This time, you don't need to roll. You hear something, for lack of a better term, slithering around inside as the jingle of coins moves and a swoosh of a serpentine tail uh, is heard. But you don't know where it's at. <laughs> you just know it's inside. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, hang from the ledge of the window and drop to the ground at that point if I'm hearing something in there. Inside? The outside. Are you, sure you, you, are you sure you want outside? outside. Inside, you could probably see what it is. I'm okay with not seeing what it is. Uh, if you're sure, I don't mind putting you inside. Uh, I'm the really for lightning. lightning. I would like to, you know, again, confirm I can't see anything here before I drop outside because Correct. once off the window, <laughs> there's no going back. Correct. So, so you leap. I didn't say leap. I said hang from the window and then drop to the ground. To the outside. <laughs> to the outside. Not inside. Not inside. Correct. Okay. Uh, as you hang and drop, uh, you see Leaf rassum, frassum, rah, 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 uh, digging his way up out of the moat. Uh, he is filthy, uh, but his boisterous anger is not overheard over the uh, dull roar of the storm. Meanwhile, up top, uh, Felix, give me a... Uh, I don't know. Give me a, some kind of check. I'll figure it out here in a second. Performance check to uh, pry out a gem. <coughs> Six. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that thing's not coming out. <laughs> uh, can I move to a different gem? You can, but first I want an insight check. Six. Sure. Move to another gem. <laughs> Uh, Man Feng, you notice that Felix is fiddling with a gem unsuccessfully and moving on to another gem. Okay, I'm going to get up there, I'm going to grab a gem and try to pry it out as hard as I can. Sure. Uh, Felix and Man Feng performance checks. 14. We add performance? Yep. All right. 16. Uh, you both get a gem. Felix, you get 
a decent sized gem. Man Fang, you get a little bit larger gem. Haha, <laughs> mine's bigger. Uh, 400. Yeah. If you pushed off this roof, if you're not careful. Felix, your gem is worth about 400 gold pieces and certainly does appear to be a diamond. Man Fang, your regularly cut piece of gem is worth 600. Oh, However, yeah. Man Fang, Felix, me, D12. Uh oh. Seven. As you two fiddle with your prying, when you free it, you notice a little bit of give. Uh -oh. Uh, and you also notice that storm is intensifying. How about a lightning check? And of course it's a lightning check. It's always a lightning check every five seconds. 18. Ah! Lightning! I got struck with lightning six <laughs> This is the sixth times. Felix, uh, now is your chance as Mr. Blind, Deaf, and Dumb is once again confused by the lightning strike on the front of the temple, uh, skittering tiles that away. Uh, he is. Uh, 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 uh. Um, what I you... am going to, while he is in his stupor. Grab that gem out of his hand. I hate you. I am so shoving you off this roof. <laughs> you are in a stupor. You can't even see me. You can't hear me. Wailing I'm around. Gonna, uh, I'm going to grab that gem Hit him. and shake him just a little bit and say, you almost fell off the roof. you got to be more careful. Uh, and I'm going to pop his friend. Hit him and then uh, persuade. Hit him and persuade? Yep. So what do I got to do? 2d20 there? Uh, just, persuade. J just do the attack roll and you can use dex or strength as your modifier to grab the gem what's your yes. ac man fang my ac it is 18 I, yeah it's 18 with the tortoise shell it's 17 normally <laughs> yeah 22 you pocket the, the gem now persuade him 11 Man Fang, uh, you're still deaf, so his powers of persuasion are poor, but you feel his hand steady you. So you have been saved by your cohort. Thank you, my friend. I will always remember. <laughs> that I've you dropped life. the diamond, you idiot. Here, then hand it back to me, friend. Oh, I'd really you like You dropped it. it off the roof. It's gone. No. Come on, all the diamonds. Hand me the diamonds. You okay, can't friend. trust it. Okay, okay. Down below, Good. Copious, uh, would you like to impart the wisdom no, of the whole perception on me? I'm just, I'm just let him wander around a little bit just to scare him. I'm I'm going to try to communicate with Leaf to let him know something <laughs> in the building, slithering about that I heard something now moving around inside there. And let me just say, oh crap. Um, at this point, we're from any movement we're going to do, it's definitely going to be with an eye towards the main openings, the big openings, yep. to see if something I is think peeking out. Copious, we probably should get close to the corner, so if anything comes out this west side, we can get around the corner. Sounds like a plan. So All moving right. back to the corner you originally crept in on. Yeah. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I would assume that that is the safe bet. Up top, Felix and Manfang, when he quiets the dog, what would you like to do? We got Your one, beauty. a couple of them out, except for Butterfingers over here. It keeps driving. I'm, I'm going to get another gem. I'm going to look on the egg first. Be careful. Did you see that this thing is unstable? Yeah, I know, but I'm going to see Let's if I can be find this gem on this whole sphere. Fear. Try not to drop right it this out. time. There's lightning all around. Let's pull them out very gently. Man Fang, uh, your observation pays off. At either end of this oblong turtle egg, uh, the end caps are a diamond the size of a human fist. It's just enormous. 
I'm going to try and yank that puppy out right now. <laughs> uh, Felix, this can never go wrong. Felix, what are you doing? Lightning. While he's trying to start the lawnmower there, I'm going to try to stable it and say, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. I'm just going to say, it's not going to give. Just give me a few seconds. It's going to give. I, you know what? I, I think that is the best course of action you could have chosen. Man Fang, give me a performance check. Felix, give me an opposing performance check. It's great. It's great. I got to tell you this. It was a good dice. Natural 20. Nicely done. Didn't need any modifiers because I didn't mean to. Uh, 10. Uh, it wiggles substantially as he's <laughs> and frees a gem like five times this big. Huge gem. Massive gem. Uh, Manfang, you feel the stone egg topple greatly, but fortunately your cohort managed to uh, and it's time for another lightning strike. <laughs> Give me that gem before that lightning strikes. <laughs> We're dropping another gem. Right oh, don't you yet. dare drop that gem again. I'm going right, to let me have it. That was head. too big. Put it in your pocket, man. Yeah, I'll put it in my pocket. Yeah, I'll put it in my satchel. Let, let me put it in my pocket. I got. Why, why don't you see if a lightning bolt is you first? <laughs> uh, nine. Jesus. 16. 16. Nine and 16. Lightning does strike out in front of the temple, uh, but not uh. the rooftop. Uh, gives a very loud clap of thunder and briefly illuminates that side. Uh, Copious and Leaf do not see this because they are safely hidden away on the corner of the you building betcha. and wondering. Taking a while up there, aren't they? Uh, so, uh, Man Fang, you have a gem easily. Easily worth five thousand gold pieces if you can hang on to it. That uh, thing's going in my purse, my man purse, right now. Felix, uh, give me a dex check as you used a lot of effort to study that thing. Well, hey Felix, if you hold that again, I'll pry another one out and give it to you. Let's do it. Let's do it again. Right. Now, actually, man no. Uh, I will pull. You hold. All right. Manfang, the end caps are where the giant gems were at. All right. This is probably on the other side. And very gently. Well, I'll start them over this time. That, that looked very gentle. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna this is gonna like unleash some demon that was trapped inside of this egg. So Felix, performance, Manfang, performance. 15. Natural 20. Nicely done. Uh, Felix, you pry <laughs> out a fist-sized diamond. 5,000 gold pieces. I'm going to put it right in my pocket. Well, no, I'm going to pull it out, kiss it, and quickly put it in my pocket. Copious and, and leaf perception check. You guys don't know what's going on up here. Uh, 24. You're muted. 18. Uh, you guys both notice that the storm is starting to lessen and the noise inside the temple is getting louder. Oops. Listen, Oops. I'm going to tell Leaf, if this storm's starting to let up, we need to hightail it back to the bar before the dragon ticks off. Yeah. I don't know how to communicate that with the two yahoos upstairs. I how much time do I have left on my... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> four flags. Do we see that the storm is letting up at all, or are we just totally focused in on these diamonds? <laughs> hey, 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 Leaf, maybe they'll notice us <laughs> heading back. If we start move, making our way back, they'll see us on the... There is a weather vein, if you know what I mean. <laughs> How much longer do I have on my spider crawl? That lasts for an hour. Yeah, you got time. Okay, good. I just want to make sure so I can at least kind of crunch. Felix and Manfang. I agree. I, I don't know how to tell them anything. Do you have a message? No. You know what? You could throw shit at them. 
<laughs> I was gonna say I have a copious cocktail uh, that I've you know that I've made up. I could light that sucker and we could chuck it up on the roof. That should do it. It's gonna set me on. It's gonna set me on fire. Oh, it's, right. it. to it. it's totally wet. Um, it's all raining. Uh, alcohol will burn on water, <laughs> <laughs> or on dragonborn. Skin. We will be totally safe up here. Liar cannot climb buildings. Yeah, Felix and Manfang, you uh, you are totally clueless that you haven't rolled a lightning <laughs> check in a while. You are, oh, I am so rich. I did but, tell you that that's in my pocket already. Yep, but you also notice uh, that those were at least, as near as you can tell, the two largest stones in this egg. Not to say that the other stones peppering this stone uh, oval aren't worth a lot of money. Uh, it is, there's a lot of stones in this thing. Hey, Felix, you want to say, you want to get some more or you want to just go now? Uh, why would we ever leave? <laughs> all right, man. All right, let's but, We, uh, we can't get all these up here. This thing's going to fall down. We got to get it down off of this roof. But, I mean, we could, we could try and push it. Yep. Copious, catch this. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, it's like, yeah, let I, I'm going to look down, try to peer off the roof and see if I can see them where they were standing before. You do not see them at all. Oh, I guess they're still looking in the window, keeping things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But we're hoping they see us from the roof line as we make our way back to the gate. Yeah. Uh, well, what if you make it to the gate, which shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, they'll see you. Uh, well, that's what we're doing now that the storm's lessening. As you guys I mean, go around the corner, you're still getting a face full of water, uh, yeah. but it is nowhere near the intensity that it was. Uh, unfortunately, you're making the long road. So Felix and Manfang, uh, totally oblivious to what's going on, what would you like to do about this plethora of gemstones? Just, just calling to you oh, oh, leave we, me felix i can't leave it here we can't we got to push it down some way but we should we try to just get as many as we can while it's up here yeah but half of us are stuck we're gonna need some a hammer and some chisels to get them out did somebody mention indiana jones earlier because i, I did, see yeah. exactly where this is going <laughs> uh, i think we need to push this off the roof yeah, it might be the best choice instead of having. Uh, but I don't want to get struck by lightning. Is it going to break the diamonds when it hits the ground? I mean, we oh, could, it's, it's not going to break a diamond. It's going to break the diamonds free when it hits the ground. Felix, it it man, fang yeah, insight. Off. Nine. Uh, thirteen. Ten. My in my insight's actually plus two. Man, Fang's not certain, but Felix, you're pretty certain that that last lightning bolt that struck in front might have actually damaged the uh, escarpment holding this oval egg, and it might be feasible to push it towards the main city. And let's do it. <laughs> Before we do it, let's see. Can we lift it? Ooh. You want to try and lift it? Yeah, you get on one side, I'll get on the other. We'll just gently lift it up, see how much it weighs. Oh, so we're going to get eaten by the dragon as we crash through the rooftop. That's a good plan, too. Uh, <laughs> give, give me an intelligence check, both of you. <laughs> this won't go wrong at all. I'll pick it up this way. My left or your left? <laughs> no! Oh, Lord. That's, not, that's not possible! That's I rolled a three, and my Intelligence is minus three. Wait, I need to look again. You know what? You are both convinced between the two of you, you certainly are strong enough oh to lift my. this up God. on its pedestal and oh, yeah. I don't know, carry it down, I suppose, is the I uh, monkey crawl. Story. I was thinking lift it up and kind of give it a good push off the uh, roof. Sure. Because I'm imagining there's a flat spot that we're standing on up at this cupola. There's nope. a totally pointy. The, the cupola goes over like a triangle oh. <laughs> along the arched roof. But you can, you know what? 
you guys have thought this through. You've made the correct calculations. Yeah, it should be no problem. Let's Call lift it on up. Forward or back towards the city we go. Fair enough. Let's lift it up and try to throw it over towards the city. We're going to be rich, man. We're going to be rich. Strength check, Man Fang, and Felix. Just exactly how far have Leaf and I made it at this point? You are just about around to the front. <laughs> I got well, 24 for my strength check. What was yours, Man Fang? 24. Excellent. Man Fang, uh, Felix, you're feeling a little uh, hernia uh, going on. You managed to lift it. Both of you at the same time here. as the roof tiles snap under the intense weight of this stone. The good news is you have chucked it out of its pedestal enough and it begins to careen down the roof, making a lot of noise because the storm is lightening up. Felix, the roof sunders. <laughs> Manfang, the roof sunders. Give me dex checks, please. Shit. 10. 18. Very good. Uh, you are going to suffer half. Manfang is going to suffer full. Uh -oh. Six. Manfang, six hit points of splinter damage into your groin. Felix, <laughs> three to yours. As you start to drop through the roof. My tiny balls. You see the egg begin to roll uh it creates a rather substantial dent in the roof uh and because you are now lower you do not see copious and leaf climbing up the other side of the moat gentlemen i'm gonna need dex checks to see if you get out of the moat and 11 uh, you both have your troubles, but you managed to get out. As the storm is beginning to lessen in its intensity, you hear a loud crash followed by two smaller crashes. You look up over the side, and here comes the ball from Raiders of the Lost Ark careening towards you. Your associates are nowhere to be seen. The good news for all four of you is you hear an extremely loud shriek. <laughs> uh, copious leaf. Time to make a run for it. <laughs> Damn it. So what, before we do that, so we're on the corner of the building. When we see the ball come off the edge, we've come up out of the, the ditch. The ball is crashing somewhere in front of us or off the side. Is that rolling down the moat? It is hitting the moat and coming out of a half pipe uh like tony hawk okay <laughs> as you guys have rounded the corner and are making your way back to the tavern yes tavern. yeah, yeah. Yes. So, the bridge that crosses the moat how how big is it and i'm going to i'll just tell you why is it big enough that you could like hide from a tornado underneath it you know that that's what potentially I'm it's about six feet wide so do you want to dive back into the moat well i'm we're doing this as we hear a screech do we hear motion or just the screech you just hear the screech felix and manfang will hear the movement below them as a, a waft of air goes across their dangling little feet as they they are hanging on for dear life on the roof looking like jack from the shining buried in the snow <laughs> and how far is it from where we're at to the the gate that goes into the old city 50 feet I, I have placed you in front of the moat on the path towards the gate. So okay. I, I'm not fast there, Leaf. I'm that's that's two turns for me at least. I'm yeah. I'm I'm debating here on I, I'm gonna look at Leaf and go, oh my god, did you hear the crash? I think they're both dead. <laughs> well, I I I think I would rather uh hide right now than be exposed. I'm going to dive back down to the, the moat and crawl under the bridge. Well, let's cr crawl under the bridge on the west side there or east, east side? Up, up against the building side so that if something comes out, we're... West from where you 
had already gone or east because Leaf brings up a good point on this one. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, is the, we were on the lee side, right? You we were, were on the lee. west side. We're on the west side. Out of the storm. So we were on that side while we hide on the other side. That'd be the side yeah. the egg just came down, right? You uh, haven't been able to determine that because I haven't rolled it yet. That's why I'm waiting yeah. for you guys to okay. dive. <laughs> uh, well, there's, yeah. there, there's it a came bridge. around the building where it's closer to the either the bridge out the end of it, Jason, or the bridge on the east side, either one. Uh, whichever bridge is closer is the one the I'm east heading side. for. I'd say probably the east side one then. So DM's choice of whichever one he thinks we're closer to, yep. that's the one I'm going to try to go to. And the north the side, door, maybe. And the the bridge or the the bridge and doors that face the opening into the old city that was closed when we uh, came in, it, right? No, it was wide open. Those gates was, are gone. So this is where you came in, and then you went around to this side. Yeah. You're now coming back around this side, and headed towards the city. Unless you want to dive underneath this bridge. Oh, I want to dive under the one on the side. On the end of it. Okay. Okay. The, the one we just passed. It, it looks to be the closest. Piece of cake. You two hear kadunk, kadunk, kadunk. And down in the moat, you just see it kind of a shadow headed towards the city gate. And you hear <laughs> rock on rock on diamond kind of thing. Are they scraping the diamonds? I don't want to have them that bad. There's going to be some fractures. Not a total loss. At this point, we know what's inside this damn thing. We don't care. Yeah, this is survivability for us. You can't spend, we, we you can't seen spend it. gold from the inside of a dragon. We're diving under the bridge. So, Copious and Leaf, give me a survival check. Felix and Manfang, give me a survival check. Oh, natural point. Survival. It's, my first, it's 14 because my survival is plus zero. 12. Seven. <laughs> I Felix, guess I'm just. You feel heart. a boot loosen from your foot <laughs> and fall. <laughs> uh. Man Fang, uh, you're fine. Copious, uh, Leaf the Druid has spared no expense in throwing himself upon your small body to protect <laughs> you from the shattering. <laughs> and as you look up, Leaf, you just see a boulder crash through the bridge directly in front and the boulder shoots out and then you hear it crash 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 but you lose sight of it because you're down in the boat so you aren't sure if it hit the interior walls <laughs> which i get to roll for or if it is continued to careen <laughs> down into the city was that that ball that was on <laughs> Another screech is heard, probably from Felix's shoe hitting it in its ass. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go with get... Felix and Menfang. What would you two like to do as you are hanging on for dear life? Shame I would like to hang on for dear life and <laughs> get up out of the hole. Hey, Spider Climb, can you give me a hand getting out of this hole? And yeah, I'll help. I think we are going to, after hearing your screeches, as quickly yet quietly scurry our way back to the way we came up. That's what I would like to do because I still believe that our buddies are down there keeping watch for us. Oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm certain of that. Man Fang, uh, let's see how intelligent you are. When he asks you to spider climb, would you like to just drop down and spider climb across the roof? Or would you like to climb up and spider climb along the top. Give me an intelligence check. <laughs> Let's see which is smarter. It's six, but now it's three. Let's go upside down because that looks cool. Man Fang is a diplomat at heart and realizes the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. He hefts his legs up onto the interior of this old temple catching it like Spider-Man, and begins to walk inverted uh, over to Felix. Man-Fang, as you do so, you notice an enormous black serpentine figure, similar to your own body, 
jettison its way out of the eastern area and well, take for flight. Well, it's not coming for us, so that's fine. Let's Felix try. has changed clothes into his brown shirt, brown pants, and one brown boot uh, in doing so. <laughs> uh, but you can now hoist him up onto the roof. That's what I'll do. Wait, wait, wait. Are we still on the roof while I was dangling? Or? No, yeah, you're dangling. Under. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, that explains the brown pants. He can hoist you out. Did I... Did I see that the dragon left? No, because you're hanging up like okay. this. He, however, got a full view as he's inverted. Top Gun. <laughs> as I was inverted, I noticed that the dragon left. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so I would like to say real quick that the DM taking advantage of the mentally challenged <laughs> is cruel, unusual, and very entertaining. As I say, the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. <laughs> and I haven't even used Old Red yet, which mm -hmm. always rolls high. <laughs> With this group, the dice just keep taking away and taking away and taking away. Nobody, who got hit by lightning? Nobody. Nobody got Nobody hit by lightning. Nobody needed to get hit by lightning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I almost got hit by nightwing. 68. Man, I almost did. <laughs> 68 Saved damage life. would have woke you up. Uh, the good news is, Leaf you get up off of Copius uh, and you guys are underneath the bridge on the west side. Uh, the storm has almost completely passed over you. The screech is loud but not over you. Directionally challenged, it's somewhere not around you. What would you two like to do? Replay the movie Twister and come up out of the well? Yes. Muted. That was, <laughs> that was a great idea, too. <laughs> said, Copious, why don't we take a look inside a temple? It sounds like it flew. Uh, okay. I will try to stealth my way up for, out of the ditch to look in the temple. Close to the temple or away from the temple? Close. Right inside the door. Okay. Give me uh, dex rolls. Oh, my God. I know I'm going to regret this. Oh. <laughs> uh, 14. 10. 10 is good enough. Uh, you reluctantly climb up out of the moat, wander around to, do you want the back door or the front door? Front door. Go into the front door and, oh, uh, the ammonia, uh, the feces is overpowering. Yeah, apparently the uh, dragon never heard that phrase about don't crap where you eat well give me That's an insight dragon. check oh that's my insight's good 26 there's a lot of feces here one might even think that there might be enough for two creatures of enormous size uh as you get in though <laughs> Feces and ammonia to the left. Woo! Portal gold pieces and stuff to the right. Cutting back to the rooftop, Man Fang has given Boy. Felix the lift that he needed to get him back up onto the roof. And as I recall, you guys wanted to shimmy over to where you first made entry. Felix, uh, you're the one without spider climb. Give me a dex check. <laughs> I'm going to have to let you go. Oh, oh, oh. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> Man, Fang, as you two start to move down, Felix hits a slick spot, careens down, and is completely out of control. You can try and grab a hold of the rope or just let him hit the cement below. I don't know. Both sound pretty... I saved your life earlier. That's all I'm saying. All right, man. I can't. I can't not agree with that. I'll grab. I'll help him. I'll help him. <clears throat> this is the important role today. Oh boy. Goodbye, Felix. Yes. <laughs> you grab the rope, and as it starts to cut through, you're going to take four hit points of damage, Man Fang. Felix, 
He grabs the rope in enough time to go ahead and slow it down. You do not, do not land flat on the surface. However, he pulls the rope and you go in flying through one of those windows. Because you are on the west side, you land in poo. <laughs> Copious oh, leaf. You hear, ah! And oh, <laughs> Felix <Wow>. has arrived. <laughs> I'm going to point out to leaf. Oh, look, they, he's still alive. <laughs> Go figure. You also notice a little bit of rain coming through two holes up near the cupola for some reason. Poor craftsmanship. Uh, this place is in need of a renovation. Uh, Manfang, you oh, 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 uh, climb down, walking like you're in outer space, come to a rest, and you can go in the back door or through where the rope is going in through the window. I'll go through the I'll go I'll follow the rope. That, that three and four were my happy moments <laughs> for that one. Uh, you go through the window? Yep. Okay. Uh, you find Felix <sighs> looking like Biff uh, when he hit the manure truck. Manure! I hate manure. You also see Leaf and Copious uh, meandering through the total gold. Uh, the feces are horrendous, rather large, uh, but Felix, there's nothing in this building because Manfang knows. Uh, it flew out. And being the intelligent wonder that he is, he goes, ha, I guess that was the dragon that flew out. <laughs> when I came falling off the roof and landing in this nice, soft pile of feces, did I take any hit point damage? No, because you landed in the feces. Perfect. The At only one that took damage that. was Manfang with the rope burns on his hand. See? Poop isn't necessarily a bad thing. No, it's not. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is look for that lost boot that I had in here. Oh, yeah, it's over there by uh, Copious and Leaf, who are, <laughs> look at all this treasure. <laughs> hey, guys. Look at what I found. Oh, you guys, uh, Leaf even... and Copious, you notice that Manfang has displayed a rather large diamond the size of a man's fist. <laughs> Didn't get the chance to tell him that we were going to keep that a secret. Uh, what, uh, they what? did not see yours. I, I know. But, uh, you know, Leaf and I are going to ask Manfang about what what they what they found up there. What happened? <laughs> the ball. The diamond ball is yours. It's out there. Oh, the, so so you guys have what you want, and we get everything else. No, 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 no. Speaking of which, everybody perception check. Let's see if we find the wormling that's still crawling around in here. 15. 18. 15. 26. Uh, you guys all hear a loud crash as if some kind of building has just been sundered. Oh, boy. Like, from the city? Because right. my roll was a three. It split the uprights and began to roll it down the incline into the city. Probably where Robert and Phineas are. <laughs> yeah, I guess we know how that's going to end up. I'm oh, sorry, I let them do the work. You know what I mean? I'm going to uh, say, I'm guys, gonna cast, I want to cast Detect Magic. And we need to do our thing here because the dragon's going to come back. Yes. And yep. uh, I want to get outside while it's still raining so I can take a, a hobo shower. <laughs> So I'm, as as Leaf is doing that, I'm going to look for objects more than straight uh, gold. If there are gems, great. If there's objects that look like they may have some intrinsic value because of rings, he's got a thing for rings, you know. Uh, he's not going to find any rings. Uh, oh, man, I think I was supposed to uh, apply something to the. Oh no, that's persuasion. So yeah, you're fine. Uh, Leaf, you notice that Copius is digging through some stuff. One of the uh, blue items is very close to him, and uh, you two d12 against each other, please. Okay, d12 eight. Uh, he picks up something, but it's not the blue item. 
Uh, Felix, if you want to go take your hobo shower, go ahead. There's gold turtle coins in here. Also silver uh, turtle coins. There's a lot of them. Um, a lot. Uh, like, you don't have enough bags currently. Uh, Copious, you find a staff. Uh, it's a little bit beat up. It's a little bit worn. It appears to be some kind of bamboo staff, uh, maybe rod-like, maybe 14 inches long. It is topped uh, with a golden tortoise shell. It looks like a scepter almost. Probably uh, mm. worth uh, 500 gold. It's a pimp cane. <laughs> Close, but it's shorter. <laughs> It's a gnome's pimp cane. Exactly. <laughs> gnomish pimp cane. That's what I'm going to use it as a gnomish pimp cane. <laughs> exactly. That'll work. Uh, Leaf, he is not currently <laughs> noticing some old, dirty piece of cloth that is right next to the scepter. I'll pick up the dirty piece of cloth. Is that what uh, is glowing for me? Mm -hmm. Being a druid, you know that that is probably a phylactery a religious arm band of something. Uh, the other item that's glowing is almost at the edge of your detection. Uh, buried, oh. though. I'll head towards it. Okay. Uh, Felix and Manfang, what are you guys doing? I guess I'm, I'm going to keep looking around, or I'm going to look around as well. And, yeah. Uh, see if there's anything of interest in my vicinity. <laughs> Uh, Felix, other than the gold and the silver coins Felix and Leaf D12 against, against each other please four. Uh, Felix is headed off to you something a three? Oh, sorry, magical <laughs> Man Fang uh, you're doing the same thing uh, yeah what do I roll again uh, D12 against Leaf Leaf go ahead and reroll Crap, I dropped it. Ah, nah. Ten. Ten. Reroll. Ten. Yeah, reroll. Yeah, four. Twelve. Uh, he is headed right for the item, and as he pulls up a handful of uh, coins, he finds a gem. It is a pearl, but it's a teardrop pearl. Man or leaf as he picks it up to examine it, it is the glowing blue object. Oh, hey, man, Fang. Seems how you got that big diamond. Won't you let me have that pearl you've got there? No, if you, if you tell me what it is, then I'll give you the tear. Uh, man, Fang, you do not know it is glowing blue, only leaf can see it. All right, well, since he seems so, well, since he wants it, I'm gonna ask him, well, can you tell me what it is then? It's a pearl. Well, apparently you're very interested, in it, so I'd like to know. Well, I like pearls. I'm kind of a fan of raw oysters too. How, how big is this thing? Just like a pearl that would like I could hold like this or like this. Uh, it's a small, smaller pearl. Right, so I'd be holding it. Right. Yeah, not. It, it's innocuous. You could probably pick up more gold than that stupid pearl's worth. No, nah, I think I'm gonna keep it because it looks. I want to put it in a necklace. Give me a wisdom check. And Leaf, if you want help, I'll try to persuade Manfang to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> well, it's not a minus, so that's good. Ah. 16. Well, Leaf, he, 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 he seems rather smitten. Oh, that's all right. He can keep it. Uh, each one of you can roll a D4. That's about how much room times 100 you have to pick up these turtle coins. And I'm not picking up a bunch of coins. I already got more and I can hardly carry. So how many can I carry again? Uh, D4, and that's times 100. I got 100. So 100 gold. It's probably that damn diamond of yours taking up all the room. <laughs> ah, 400. There you go. Considering you've already alerted everybody, oh, look at the diamond that I've got. Uh, yep. Cop Copious, are you going to take any gold? <laughs> Very good. Uh, a screech is heard out over the city. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's going to be a Felix-shaped hole in that wall. You guys want to go out the front door that you came in through? No, yeah, I think we should look at the... Let's look out the... the closest door to the city 
that's the direction we need to go. That's the front door. Front There's door. only the front door and the back door. There are no side doors, although the east side is just a big open gap because that's where the dragons come yeah. in. We'll look out the front door. Uh, you notice that there's a large divot about 20 feet into the main road, and then you see the cobblestones have been furrowed out as if something large and covered in diamonds has cut its way <laughs> through, and it's leaving a swath going down into the city. One building where there was a large statue guarding it uh -oh. has caved in. Uh, but you can't tell if there is an embedded giant stone or if it took a yeah. glancing hit and caved in. Or well, look out and search the sky and make sure there's nothing that I can see flying around close. There is something flying. It is not it close. It is at the far end of the city. <laughs> and on. it descends rapidly. Well, it's eating something, so let's hightail it. Yeah, you, let's you do go. not have a straight vision because the road kind of curves. It's either eating something or getting it, picking its egg back up, putting it back up on top of the Yeah, table. let's <laughs> see. All right, let's now, hightail it, guys. You guys are here. Yeah. Uh, here Please. is the building that has collapsed. And then the dragon is probably right around here. Let's go back. Let's uh, let's just say as we as we come through the gate, let's immediately veer off back into the serpent temple, and then and yep. make sure we assess each stage of this as we're running back, so that we don't just try to do a, a straight shot, because that takes us to the to get in the bar. We're going to have to go to the front. Correct. Yeah, so we we want to be able to duck into one of the buildings we've already cleared if we have to. Is that bar is that yep. back door just locked or they bar it? They secure it every time you guys leave. Okay. Well, not one fine. point of entry, that's the best course of action. Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, you can jiggle the door if you'd like or beat on it and scream bloody murder, whatever you want to do. I was going to say, if it's just a lock, I can always open it with my key. Let's uh, just barricade. You have that okay. magic key. That's right. They barricade it, though. That's what they remember. They stack crates in front of it every time yeah. we leave. But okay. If we go I'll down that way, that back to the door and then go on to the road we can go back to the front yeah just and then come in the yeah. front once we're come sure it's front. clear as you do so perspiration is just beating down from the fear of the imminent death that you all almost experienced inside a very animated or animated robert of zeppelin is telling the no, the other known pierre and haggis crapstain how he and Phineas nearly got their heads chopped off by this giant rolling ball. And if it were not for his superior dexterity skills that bards will sing about for days, they would have died. <laughs> hey, bards and th about. they got three rabbits. Is, fin is Phineas here? <laughs> Phineas was with Robert. That's too bad. I was kind of hoping the dragon was eating him. <laughs> Phineas, Robert, Haggis and Pierre are all inside. All right. Haggis and Pierre are entranced by the story because it sounds like something a little bit made up. Uh, and if it was only Phineas telling that story, they would likely disbelieve it. Uh, but both of them giving the same account has led credence to what they have heard. They see you and they're like, you guys got to hear this story. They almost died. And did, <laughs> did any of yeah. these guys see the dragon? I just want to no. make sure that None of them saw the dragon. No. And we can't see the dragon now either, even though from the Correct. inside the bar. Yep. Nope. You so can go down gonna... to the front gate if you want. No, oh, I'm good <laughs> for the moment. Yeah, I think first thing I'm gonna do is is do some healing on Man Fang. He's in pretty rough shape. I'm I'm not gonna, I'm not like horribly scuffed up, but yeah, I I will take some healing. It'd be nice. Yeah, it, I could use some healing. I, this tooth is missing. Uh, I got a bunch of splinters in my ankles. God knows what disease. Groin. From the poo. Groin. Oh, I'm, groin. I'm, I'm, I'm Sorry. My ankles. <laughs> They're tiny balls. They must be so much in pain. Oh, they are. Trust me. No, no. You said plural. He's down to one now because the splinter took out the other. He's Hitler now. Ooh. It's we got one ball. Thir Thirteen, man, Fang. Ah, thank you. 
Uh, so you heal everybody up. Do you tell the yep. tale of Brave Copious V. Bitters taking on the Draco Lich of Infamy? <laughs> if you do, I'll slap you. <laughs> because no. Robert of Zeppelin uh, says, I got dinner. What'd you guys get? Uh, Manfred got was... a giant diamond. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm gonna say. Yeah. I know. Really? Actually, actually, Manfang and uh, Felix were up on top of the temple prying diamonds out, yeah. of, out of the orb. Well, let me tell you what happened, though. We were up there, and not, we couldn't get all the diamonds. It was rocking back and forth. We got a couple of them off at first. Then a lightning bolt came down, and Man, it spooked Manfang, and he dropped him, and he almost fell off the roof. Instead, I was able to save him, but the diamonds went tinkling down the ceiling or down the roof tiles, fell off the front. We each got one of those big, purdy diamonds. So but, you admit that you have one of the 5,000. Yes, he did. But, but he's not telling about the two smaller diamonds. Right. That is correct. Okay. So uh, the big diamond. You don't mind turning out your pockets, so. No, here's the big diamond. It's right here. Yeah. No, no, no. no I said. Robert interrupts and goes, wait a minute. So you and Lizard Boy climbed up to the top of the temple in a hurricane and hijacked some diamonds. Yeah. yeah. We're going to say it pretty cool. <laughs> I'm betting the lightning bolt hit that thing, knocked the diamonds loose, and you guys pocketed it. Yep, you got them. That's what happened. Yep, that's what happened. Whatever happened, happened. But we got these diamonds, and... The things on the ground. Who gives a shit, really? So, how many more thing? How many more diamonds are stuck in the the stone? Oh, God. Uh, more. There's there's there some. were a bunch more. We were only able to get out about four of them. Well, where is it now? The stone. Yeah. Oh, we pushed it off the roof so that we can come back later. You're aware there's a giant dragon living in there. Yeah, we saw it last time. Yeah. So we pushed it off the roof. Uh, and hold on, hold on, hold on. What's that smell? <laughs> Good one. I don't, I don't smell it. <laughs> it smells you like shit. Smell it? I know. I know. <laughs> Taste it. We we need we need a prestidigitator is what we need. <laughs> <laughs> is it still raining outside? Very lightly. Uh, yeah. And the good a news pool, is that there's the a heat pool right across the street, bud. Go take a bath. That's true. Uh, the 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 heat is increased though substantially. So you know oh, you got goodness. that going for you. That'll help with the odor. Yeah. Listen, uh, uh anybody up for it? I want to kind of take a sneak around over there and take a look in that at, down at the temple. See if uh, you know what your stone is still down inside of the thing. Yeah, let's do it. We pushed it off the roof so we could come and ransack it down here. <laughs> uh, Leaf and Felix, anybody going to join them? Oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm going uh, uh, to turn my pockets out of the turtle, turtle coins I collected and split them as party treasure. The, the gold. Yep. My, I'll do my the same. Cane, I'm same here. I got, me, but. I got 200. I got 400. I got 100 plus the giant gem, which I think deserves to be party treasure as well. Man, yeah. bang. No, no, it doesn't. It's fine. I, I'm I got pretty it. sure it does. Party okay. treasure. Party treasure. So 1,000 gold pieces in total currency and two 5,000 gold piece fist sized gems. And That's I got the this. I'm going to show copious the. The, <laughs> the phylactery. The yeah. yeah, that thing. The dirty okay. cloth. Copious, this is a uh, this is magic. Uh, Copious, are you going to hide or uncover the gold scepter? Uh, yeah, I yeah I I'm using it as a pimp cane. I wasn't kidding. That, oh, fair enough. <laughs> it says 14 inches long. I'm 30 inches tall. That shouldn't be wasted. Uh, he needs a white hat with a plume. <laughs> I'm like I'm going to be called Copious Huggy Bear here before we're done. <laughs> And uh, Manfang, are you going to alert them to the teardrop pearl as only you and Leaf know of its existence? Yes, I will. 
We'll show everybody our hair. Uh, that out. pearl's also the pearl's also glowing magic. Okay. Oh, can you tell me what those? Well, that's, I have no idea. He doesn't okay. have identify. I I don't know. No idea. I don't. I'm not gonna even keep it anymore. Here, take it. Can I, I use an arcana check uh, without a, a, a crap? I'm giving you the pearl uh, phylactery. I just want if I give it a whirl. See if I can. Uh, what do you do with that? Is that intelligence? Ah, uh, you, you sure this is magic? It looks like a dirty rag. <laughs> uh, uh, on arcana, does uh, is that an intelligence check? It's intelligence. Right, so. Or wisdom is it? which is it? I think it. I think it's, it's intelligence. Dirty. I'd rather it be wisdom. I got twenty wisdom. No, it's, it's intelligence. It's intelligence. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> that racks more than dirt. Oh, that's all right. Uh, plus two twenty, dirty twenty. Uh, Copius, he scoffs at you and points out that uh, you, being a non-believer, have no idea what clerical garb actually does. And while it may be soiled at this point in time, once it's cleaned up, it can provide uh, a lot of magic powers, depending on what it does. But he doesn't know what it does. You sure it's not a loincloth? It looks like a dirty loincloth. It, well, maybe for a gnome, something that don't have much to cover. It it is the uh, what do they call the wrestler <laughs> uh, thing? Is it a circlet? Oh, uh, singlet. Oh, it's singlet. a singlet. singlet. It's a gnomish singlet. It's a gnomish <laughs> singlet. Is that, uh, I'll try it on if you think it'll fit. I no, guess. No, please don't. Please he don't. can he can cover uh, the, the gems and that. one nipple. <laughs> Look, uh, I'm a giant. With that, uh, let's hold off investigation of the destroyed uh, yeah, temple yeah. for next time. Yeah, Man, I, gotta get, I gotta get my mind cleaned up right now. So. <laughs> and Felix needs to get his drawers cleaned up. Uh, Manfang, what'd you think about today? I thought it was great. I got a lot of money. I'm feeling great. A lot of party, <laughs> party treasure, but yeah, the same thing. Party treasure, but still, I get a lot of that. I get some of that party treasure as well. So. So Copious, still, what'd you think? Um, I, you know, it was like a heist movie through most of it, uh, but with like uh, the Marx Brothers trying to pull it off. That's what it felt like through oh. most of it. O Oceans 2.5. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that well, was, ocean, that was, in the case of Mad Fang, it's more like motion Oceans minus three. Yeah, no kidding. That was Mad Fang. That was a stellar performance as a cat burglar today. That was great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, you are. You would have made Hudson Hawk proud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Felix, what'd you think? 